Hi, it's Rob here from robcoven.com. Now I'm going to try and show you how to brand and design your own meetup page for your meetup group. So you go to meetup.com and start a meetup group up here. You then need to add in various details and you really need to spend some time thinking of the name of your group, the description of your group, what your group's members can expect from joining the group and how regular and where the meetups will be. But I'm going to leave all that for now because I've done all that. This is my new meetup group called the London Entrepreneur Support Group. And what I really want to show you now is how to improve the pages of your meetup group visually on the meetup.com website. So, main thing to do is to go over to group tools here and select edit appearance. And here you've got three options, banner image, background image and color palette. So let's start with the banner image here. So if you click on that, you get the size and it's 160 pixels wide by 150 pixels high. And I've created that in Photoshop and there it is. So that's just to go here in this banner area. You can leave it blank if you want. If you do upload a new banner image, then remember to put the name of your meetup group in the image. So I'm gonna upload a new image there. Okay, and there it is. So far, so good. Now, for the background image, I found this meetup group that had a very good background image because it's centered, so they managed to put these images on either side of the main content of the page. So I'll go into Photoshop and show you what I did. So this is it. So it's actually at 66%. It's, it's a lot bigger than this, obviously. So I put the, so I put the logo of the meetup group and my logo on either side of the main content area of the site. So we'll see how this looks. So let's go background image, upload a new image, and get that one. And you've got three options to stretch, and that would be to stretch it across the whole of the background, no matter how large the browser window is. Center it, which is what I'm gonna choose because I want the logo to appear on either side of the page. And tile it means that the background area will repeat itself. So you need to choose your image carefully because repeated tiled background images can be very distracting if you choose the wrong one. But there we are, that's got ours done. And finally, let's go to the color palettes. Now you've got all these presets here that you can choose. But I'm gonna go for pick custom colors. And banner we're not gonna bother with because it doesn't need a background color because it's all covered with the image. So I'm going to leave that for now. The background, I'm going to take that color there because obviously where the background image finishes at the bottom, you've then got a change of color. So if I go into Photoshop and with the color picker, choose that color, that light blue color, we'll get the hexadecimal value for that color, E B E E F F and back here let's go put that in the background there now the links I want in the color of this red logo I'll show you the logo let's get that red copy that hexadecimal value back to the website put it in there and okay that you can see now that the links have changed to that red which is all in keeping with that red let's put the buttons in that red as well Okay, I don't know if that's changed or not, never mind. And let's save that. So we're still not done because you can put an image here. You need to click on About Us and Edit Description. And in this description, obviously, you want to spend a lot of time on here to make the group seen as attractive as possible to your prospective members. But if you scroll down, you've got a Meetup Group photo, and I'm going to get the logo here and see if that goes in. Group logo submit and there it is i created that group logo as a square 400 by 400 pixels and i think that works quite well it may be a bit of overkill here with too many logos but i'll um, think about that later lastly if you want to put your website details in there as well i you can put them in and sponsors of course obviously if your meetup group becomes successful you're going to have paid sponsors but i'm going to add a sponsor which is going to be my own business so i've entered some details there and i've entered the website address add a photo and we do get a size here it's 120 by 90 so add sponsor 
Let's not email the members about that. And there's our sponsor, and that appears there with a link to your site. Now, no idea whether that gives you great link juice or not, whether it's, it's probably no follow. Let's have a look. No, it's not, it's not no follow, but uh, these days you can never be sure about links, and you have to be very careful with Google what you put in the anchor text. But that's a discussion for another day. All I wanted to show you on this video was how to upload a banner image, a logo image, a background image, and a sponsor image to your meetup group. And I hope you enjoyed that. This has been Rob from robcubbon.com. Goodbye. <laughs>